When I came here a year and a half ago, I didn't know any English except like two words, like, hi, how are you? I thought that I would never learn English. I would never like be able to speak a new language like that. It's really hard. My students have extra literacy needs because they speak English as their second or third language. In the classroom, our students all have different needs and it's nice to be able to provide things together. Education is in the middle of a revolution right now. Um, technology is completely disrupting the way that we educate students in a good way. Putting Chromebooks in students' hands mm -hmm. is the first step. We'll use Google Classroom to provide materials for kids, whether it be if they're all working on the same text or we can put out links and have students choose between articles that they read. It's just nice to be able to provide whatever a student needs and it's right there in front of them at any given time. Google Classroom has been a phenomenal yeah, tool amazing. for us. Yeah. We did one year of sixth grade Chromebooks. Everything went amazing. The students loved it, the teachers loved it, the parents loved it. It was a huge hit. So we were introduced to Fluency Tutor from our technology integration specialist, and she had brought this program to us saying, I know you work with students that have reading fluency, reading or reading comprehension challenges, and dyslexia. And she said, why don't we try this and give this a, a shot? Fluency Tutor has been a great product for the students in my classroom. The students who have higher fluency, I can send them the higher Lexile passages where the students with lower reading abilities, I can just assign them the easier passages. When students are confident and they're comfortable using them, now they're differentiating it for themselves. They're deciding what's gonna make this more manageable for me. Mm -hmm. Can I tackle this article that might have seemed a little bit too lengthy, a little bit too challenging for me, if I have this tool right here? You could use the listening piece. Um, you can use different voices. It can make a vocabulary chart for you, like for the words you don't know. They independently use the dictionary button. I mean, it was that quick. There weren't so many questions that I had to go over with them. It was, um, oh, look at this button or look at that button. And then they were exploring themselves and wanting to see it more. I've noticed kids go back and read a passage three, four times to try again to get better. Knowing their fluency speed as well as their errors the words they got correct is very motivating for them. Mm -hmm. Kids just do it on mm -hmm. their own now. You know, if they're reading something back to them or they're accessing text, you know, it's just one of those things that's like right at their fingertips. They mm -hmm. figure it out be way before I ever figure it out. So that's, that's the beautiful thing about using programs like Fluency Tutor. It allows them to work whenever, however they want, wherever they want. It's so much different from when any of us were in school. Learning has changed.